Jake Rowlett is the best faceoff man that they've seen all season long. And Luke Williams starting at the X today. Early ground ball for Marquette. Golden Eagles take care of business on the opening faceoff of the game. As an advantage to use it as a screen. Well, Darby, the defender, has an experience advantage as well, playing in his 37th game for the Wolverines today. And as Williams has a faceoff win for Marquette, quick transition for the Golden Eagles. Now those small piece of net, and they placed it right where they wanted it. But where the Golden Eagles have had good success has been at the faceoff X to start the game. As Luke Williams has helped Marquette get to a good start. LaMarca looking for the ground ball with the pole. And he's able to pick it up for Marquette. And the Golden Eagles are three for three. Carried in by the pole of Crines. Logan Crines. So close in all three of their games. One of them a win, a couple of losses in a row, trying to get back on the winning side of things. But their toughest test so far this season. Opposite 37s will again go at the X. Williams coming to the ball. You saw Rowlett get a stick in there, and Rowlett will have the clean pick. Nick Rowlett will help Selton. And Connery loves the athleticism of Michael Cosgrove, who delivers Michigan's first goal of the game. Now the Wolverines looking for another face-off win here, but it's Williams with a clean pick. Here comes Luke Williams from Marquette. He gets to the line and holds the ball well enough to get a timeout for Marquette. Hey, when you have the likes of Josh Zawada, Jake Bonomi, Michael Bame, Ryan Cohen pressing down offensively. Also where Marquette has done a really good job has been at the faceoff X. You see Williams digging in there trying to win another faceoff for the Golden Eagles. And he's able to. And he's done a good job, Eric, getting on the ground balls himself and taking care of business quickly. Yeah, and Marquette had two, two long poles on the wings there. Really impressive. Corsell to his left. They have won five of six in the game. Early movement that time against Michigan. Connery's talked about the way that he's really evolved into a team guy in year number one. A face-off win for Michigan that time at the X Justin Wheatfield. And this is the confidence they've played with from the start this season. Out to their first 5-0 start in team history, their highest ranking, number 16. Well, what will Marquette do to slow them down? Luke Williams looking for another win, slides to the turf. He needs some help from Granger. And it'll be white ball. Coach who's in charge of box management takes that role. We and, uh, hear it, we see it. It is right in front of us. So far, it's been like a Swiss watch. Face-off win and a ground ball for Lamarca. It's getting on the scoreboard. Michigan closing it back to a one-goal game. We have got a good one brewing here in Milwaukee. Lamarca will have a go. Bounce shot saved by Carr plan for Michigan than the last one. That was a solid poised man up. You saw the work from Zawada to help set it up. And it was Bame on the finishing end. Check by Verlindi. Win for Marquette. No can, second goal. You can tell they're really comfortable because they're always pushing it down the field. Hold on the face-off to give Michigan the ball. Much as Michigan does. Marquette, 9 of 13 on face-offs, though. Michigan has started to get some back. And it's Rowlett drawing the early movement. Point of emphasis, I'm sure, at halftime. You saw a grown-up play there from Cohen, who absorbed the contact of Hallam. 
And he's able to score low as Williams got cleaned out by Rowlett. There'll be a timeout here. Nick Rowlett set to meet here for the opening faceoff of the third quarter. Along with our crew in Milwaukee and my partner Eric Simon, I'm Patrick Reed. 16th ranked Michigan trying to improve to 6 and 0. Oh, off to their best start in program history. And with their highest national ranking entering play today, Marquette in search of its first home win in 2022. And Luke Williams continues to get the job done today. That's the 11th faceoff win for Marquette. Good job by Marquette. A Wisconsin bred star finding his way to Marquette. Part of the vision when Marquette spun up this program in 2013. Uh, and it'll be Michigan ball. And overall, Marquette three of the last four, so they have had the answer following Michigan's 4-0 run in the second. Williams getting physical there, but Rowlett picks it up. Rowlett, transition, fame to Cohen. An incredible sequence of events preceded that goal. To give possession back to Michigan and give them the opportunity to take the one goal lead. And it's picked up by Cosgrove, his pass back. Trouble for Carr, who has to get it to the near side to Darby. And if just a few feet had worked for Michigan there on that chase to the sideline on the shot, that's the difference. All right. That Packers seem to always know where the goal is, no matter where they are. Rowlett trying to stay strong and does in the moment. Rowlett has shown a lot of toughness in this game. It's been the key to the success. It's not just the three guys you see on attack that have been so productive for Michigan this season. See Verlindy lowers the boom on the far side of the field. It's going to be a Marquette penalty. This season, and they're doing a great job so far. They weathered an early storm as Marquette led 3-1 to one at the end of the first quarter, 4-1 to one early in the second quarter. 25 left on the penalty. That's unreleasable, so they yep. had to face off man down. Saw the a chance to make a statement here today. Yeah, both teams have really gone full bore for the most of the game so far, so we'll see if they can keep it up. That's Michigan getting the opening faceoff of the fourth quarter. So Marquette gets back the goal that was waved off. We believe Luke Block was in the crease. Rowlett's the win in the pickup himself. White shirts come to him. That's a big face-off for, for Michigan. 